What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 8,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, this was actually a requested video from you guys. Like I said about a month ago on my Instagram, I asked you guys what videos you wanna see filmed on my YouTube channel, and this was one of them. So in today's video, I'm gonna be creating one tackle box full of lures for springtime bass fishing to catch big largemouth bass guys and like i said i'm going to be creating this one tackle box full of a bunch of lures where you can pretty much fish from anywhere from your boat your kayak the shore pretty much anywhere you're going to be fishing these lures will work so hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and this is my springtime bass fishing box and i can guarantee you if you use any of these lures in this tackle box, you will catch a big largemouth bass here in the springtime. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and we will see you here in a sec going over my springtime tackle box. So quickly before I get into today's video and show you my springtime tackle box, I wanted to go over an app that I have been using a lot lately called the Fish Angler app. And if you can see it right there, that's what it looks like but it's a really cool app that I've been using. It's just another social media platform where you can post all your fishing content. This is the main feed right here that shows pretty much everyone's content from all over the country. There's a pretty big bass right there, but it shows you pretty much everyone's content. And this is super cool. There's a bunch of different things you can do in the app if you wanna check the weather the wind, how hot it is, pretty much anything. You can go right here to forecast and this will show you your current location, all the forecast right now. It's not loading right now because my connection is sort of bad, but there we go, it's popping up right now. But that is showing you pretty much everything, the fish forecast, the weather forecast, the wind, sun, moon phases. So. This thing is super cool. You don't even have to go out of the app to see anything with the weather. And also, if you wanna see any fish catches in your state, if you're looking for a new lake to fish, pretty much you can go to this app and see all these dots right here. These are all fish catches or lakes in your area where you can fish and potentially catch a big bass, guys. This is super cool. Um, I've been using this, finding a lot of new lakes in my area, but I really like this. Also, you can go to my page right here in my feed, and this just shows you all the pictures that I've posted throughout the year. Um, I used this all last year, so I got a bunch of content on here, but make sure to go download the Fish Angler app. Like I said, it's right there. Download it on the App Store, and it's a really cool app to post fishing content. So. Um, we're gonna get into today's video and fill this tackle box up with springtime lures to conquer big largemouth bass. Let's get right into it. So like I said guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be creating one tackle box that I would take out on the boat with me for springtime bass fishing to catch big largemouth bass. So the very first lure that I would throw in the tackle box would have to be the jerk bait. And this is probably my number one lure for springtime bass fishing. If you have watched my channel in the past, me and my dad always destroy the big largemouth bass in the springtime on jerk baits. And I always have like two to three different color jerk baits tied on on the boat when I'm out fishing in the springtime. And these are great lures to throw right when the water is starting to warm up. All those bass are gonna be feeding on bait fish, getting super thick for the spawn. And that is when you're gonna catch some absolute giants, guys. I just love throwing the jerk bait. They tend to hit it right when it's suspending, when it's paused right there. I've been getting a lot of hits lately when it's just sitting there. So make sure to leave your jerk bait sitting there for a while. I usually count to like 20, 30 seconds, just letting it suspend in the water and that's usually when I get the most action or the most hits but I'm going to be showing you guys a couple clips of me and my dad fishing jerk baits in the spring so here we go with the clips hopefully you guys enjoy these clips
Fish on! Nice bass. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Right here on this point, guys. Our second fish. Biggest of the day so far. I'm beating up on my dad. Oh, yes. It's probably a three pounder, three and a half. It's a nice one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those clips of me and my dad catching fish on the jerk baits, but there we go with the jerk bait. That is my number one bait in the springtime for bass fishing. There we go, throwing it in the tackle box. But next up would have to be the Z-Man Jackhammer. I got this color right here. I'm not 100% sure what color it is. That one right there and also the brown or the dark green. These are both key baits to have tied on in the springtime. You can pretty much use these all year round, but I really like throwing them in the springtime right before the spawn when those fish are chasing bait fish in shallow water. Um, it's just crazy, guys. The jackhammer bite or the chatterbait bite is phenomenal. So I always have these tied on. I never leave the house without a jackhammer or a chatterbait tied on. And like I said, I usually have a couple different colors tied on, usually like a black or blue if the water is a little stained, or I'll have like the white and chartreuse if the water is more clear. So if you have watched my videos in the past, you know that I have been destroying them in the past couple years on these baits. So it is just crazy, guys. These baits are phenomenal. So I'm gonna show you a couple clips of me and my dad catching big largemouth bass in the spring on these jackhammers. But here we go with the clips. Dylan's on again. My Ooh. next couple casts, too. Nice one. Yeah, sounds good. Like oh, yes. That's probably oh. the biggest one of the night. Yeah, that's that's sweet. A good one. Yeah, three and a half, four pounder, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, guys. Beautiful fish. Check that out. He chowed on that Z Man. What is it? Jackhammer? Jack not a, not a chatterbait. We chatterbait so long. Yeah. We just started using a jackhammer, so we're always talking about chatterbaits. I always call them chatterbaits. Try That's not to mix one. them up. But Dude, check that out. Huh? Yeah. Nice fish, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that big largemouth bass I caught on the Z-Man jackhammer, but this is a must-have lure to have tied on. It's a deadly lure, guys, so make sure to have this tied on when you're fishing in the springtime. But there we go, throwing it in the tackle box. And the next lure would probably have to be the spinner bait. And I got a couple different spinner baits right here. So like I said, guys, next up would have to be the spinner bait. And when the jackhammer bite or the chatterbait bite isn't working, they tend to always hit the spinner bait. And right there, I got one with willow leaf blades. And also I like throwing the Colorado blades. And usually I have the most luck throwing these when it's more stained water, dirtier water. And it's just crazy, guys. I have caught so many big largemouth bass in the springtime on this bait right here, throwing it with the Colorado blades. It just creates so much more wake in the water and throwing these willow leaf blades right there, if you can see that. But these are phenomenal lures to throw in the springtime to catch big largemouth bass, guys. Those, like I said, all those fish are gonna be chasing the bait fish, and these are great lures to throw and reel in super slow along bottom, and they just catch big fish, guys. It's crazy, but. So like I said, guys, you're gonna be throwing the Colorado blade one when it's more stained water or dirtier water. That's when I had the most luck with the Colorado blades, and I usually throw the willow leaf blades when it's more clear water. That's just what I've had better luck in my fishing experiences. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy these clips of me and my dad bass fishing, but make sure to always have the spinner bait tied on when you're fishing in the springtime. 
Oh, there he is. Nice bass. Yeah. All right, guys. First fish on the spinner bait for me. Nice one. Yeah, it is. He has a big minnow down his throat too. Nice bass, holy crap. That's sweet, big old bass. So I'm throwing both of these spinner baits in the tackle box. And the next lure that I would be throwing in the tackle box would have to be these jigs right here. I'm getting them out of the packages right now. But these jigs are just phenomenal, any jig in the springtime is super good working along bottom. Those fish are gonna be feeding on any bait fish, any crawdads, pretty much anything in the water. Those bass are gonna be chowing down, getting ready for the spawn, but jigs are super good to have tied on and really big jigs. Like I said, these are mop jigs and me and my dad like throwing these all around Michigan and we tend to have a ton of success on these but I throw the black and blue when it's more stained water and or if it's like overcast, I like to throw the black and blue and um, usually put a trailer on it. I don't have a trailer on it right now, but right there is the black and blue jig. And I throw this one when it's more cleaner water around weeds and drop offs, but these are super good baits to have tied on in the springtime. And I just really recommend throwing jigs. I know a lot of people don't throw jigs. A lot of my buddies don't really like throwing jigs, but these are key baits to have tied on, guys. I'm telling you, these jigs are phenomenal baits, even like a chompers jig. Um, you guys have probably seen those on my page, my Instagram or my YouTube, fishing with a chompers. But jigs are super good baits to have tied on in the springtime. But I'm going to show you a couple clips of me and my dad bass fishing in the springtime with jigs. But. Fish. Fish on. Nice bass. <laughs> on black and blue jig. Just work in these deeper weeds. There's a nice one guys, probably a two and a half, three pounder, nice one. So the next lure that I'm gonna be throwing in the tackle box would have to be some crankbaits. And right there is one of my favorites. Um, it's a wiggle wart crankbait. I don't even think they make these anymore or the, the original wiggle warts. These are just phenomenal. My dad actually has a bunch of these um, that he's bought over the past years, but the crankbait is a phenomenal lure to throw up towards shallow water. The, like I said, guys, in the springtime, the bass are gonna be chasing the bait fish. And if you throw this up in shallow water and just crank it, and work it right along bottom. It's just crazy, guys. Me and my dad have had days where we've caught 50 to 100 fish on these crankbaits, just working them in shallow water, just ripping them out of the weeds. It's just crazy, guys. In the springtime, there's another one right there. And when you're throwing these crankbaits, guys, make sure to always hit the weeds. That's when you're gonna be getting that reaction bite when you're ripping it out of the weeds, it's gonna signal those bass to just just smash those crankbaits, guys. So crankbaits are super fun throwing in the springtime for big bass. Me and my dad have caught some giants on these littler crankbaits. So um, we're gonna show you some clips here. Oh, there's a fish. Feels like a nice one. Oh, yes. Nice fish. On the wiggle wart. Probably a solid three, three and a half pounder. Oh, yes. Nice fish.
on the wiggle wart, guys. Right there. Nice fish, probably a three, three and a half pounder. Just casting out and reeling in super slow, guys. They're drilling that wiggle wart today. Nice fish. Throwing these crankbaits in the tackle box. So the next lure that I'm gonna be throwing in the tackle box is the Mega Bass Mag Draft. It's me and my dad threw these last year. I got that one and then this one right here. I'm not 100% the colors. I forgot once I took them out of the package. I think this one's called something like brownie or something. I forget the names or the colors of these. Like I said, guys, bass are chasing bait fish. And what does that look like? A bait fish right there, guys. These are just phenomenal lures in the springtime. Like I said, we usually throw these out and just let it sink to the bottom and reel it in as slow as possible. Um, we've had a ton of success on these. My dad has caught some big bass and big pike with these baits, so um, I really like these. I'm gonna show you a video of my dad throwing this and catching some big fish, but these are really fun lures to throw usually when you're throwing a big lure like this so you tend to catch bigger fish but i really like these days they're just they're super fun to throw you never know what is going to hit this monster swim bait but i'm going to show you some clips of me and my dad throwing those but fish fish on bass nice bass <laughs> on the mag draft yeah dang Holy crap, Dad. That's sweet. We're just getting out here on the lake. Working this drop off right here. Sweet. That's a nice one, dang. The Mega Bass Mag Draft is heading into the tackle box. So next up, the very last lure that I'm gonna be throwing in the tackle box for springtime bass fishing is the frog and i love throwing the frog you guys probably love throwing frogs too but just that top water bite when you see when you're casting these around lily pads and you just let it sit there and just see a big bass explode on it that's just the best feeling in the world i always throw these like late spring when those bass are starting to move shallow and they're starting to spawn I like to throw frogs up around lily pads or pretty much around any thick cover and just work it right super slow through that lily pads and make sure to always let these sit. Like I said with jerk baits, you want to let them sit for like 20, 30 seconds. Usually when you let it sit, I don't know why it is, but I've always had a ton of success when I'm just letting it sit there and it's just crazy guys. Those big fish will come off the beds and destroy the frog. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick clip of me catching a bass in the springtime on the frog, but that's just crazy guys. I love throwing frogs or any top waters and seeing that blow up on top. I just love see being able to see the fish hit your lure. But um, I'm gonna show you a clip. Jack is on my lake up north. Nice. There is one. That was pretty cool. That was sick. <laughs> he grabbed it. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. That was super cool right on the last pad. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I just got my first fish on the frog. He blew up on the frog on the very last pad, so that was pretty cool. But there we go with the frog throwing it in the tackle box and that is the very last lure that i would throw in the tackle box um but hopefully you guys enjoy my tackle box like i said these are all the baits that i would throw in the springtime to catch big largemouth bass pretty much anywhere around the country guys these are phenomenal lures in the springtime and like I said, those big fish are gonna be chasing bait fish, getting ready for the spawn. So pretty much any moving bait is gonna work in the springtime. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. 
and make sure to drop a comment below your favorite springtime bass fishing bait to catch big largemouth bass guys but that is my tackle box hopefully you guys enjoy and we will see you in the next video stay tuned for more videos and we are on the road to 10,000 subs guys so really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one